Hi, this is Tim with Cisco. Today we're going to take a look at two new capabilities for asset management, tagging and advanced searches. This is all available on Cisco Software Central. That's software.cisco.com. Your primary place to manage your downloads and upgrades, configure network plug and play, manage your licensing, ordering software from Cisco, and administration for your smart account. We're going to be spending most of our time in the smart software licensing section. After clicking on the link, that will take us to the smart licensing section. This is typically where you understand your alerts, uh, the inventory of licenses that you may have. You can also convert entitlements to smart licensing, run reports, set your preferences, configure satellites, and generally track activity. After clicking on the inventory tab, that will take us to the primary spot where we manage our licenses. I'd like to point out that the virtual account dropdown now has a type down filter by name or tag. So if I were to type default, you'll notice that the list shortens to just the virtual accounts containing default. And this makes it much easier to switch between virtual accounts without having to scroll. And within the licenses sub tab, this is what I'd like to show you today. It's this new area called advanced view. And you've got the ability now to do searches for entitlements, not only by the name of the entitlement, but also by tags on entitlements. You can also sort by product family, ship to location, end customer, order numbers, SKUs, and a lot of other options. You can hide this uh, by clicking the up arrow next to the advanced search, or you can completely disable it by unchecking the advanced view box. You'll notice next to the license is a little plus sign. And the neat part about the plus sign is it allows you to expand out what is within that entitlement group. So for example, if you have some purchases that were done multiple times in order to make up a pool, you can notice under the ASAV, we have two separate lines. Uh, it'll indicate it there. Here's a cool way that you can differentiate between your licenses and tag them for specific uses. You can check the entitlement and then go to the Available action section and click on Add License Tag. The ability to tag is totally open to the nomenclature that you would like to use. So for example, if we wanted to differentiate entitlements between a customer, let's say in this example, Customer 1, I can create a tag and attach it to an entitlement saying Customer 1. You'll notice that the interface provides a status that uh, the tag was added successfully. And maybe I wanted to tag a separate entitlement, let's say this ASAV, for a totally separate customer. I'll go to Available Actions, and then we'll add the tag. We'll call it Customer2. Now, this is where the beauty of tagging comes into it. When you combine the tag uh, with the searching and advanced views, it provides you with a powerful capability to differentiate between different types of entitlements. Let's take a look at a quick example of how it works. If I wanted to find a certain subset of entitlements based on its tag value, I can do a search based on a tag. For example, here I want to do a search for customer1, and that will produce results with the entitlements that I've tagged with customer1 and customer2 because it contains customer1. And if I want to further refine that and maybe include customer1 and customer2, you'll notice that the ASAV that we tagged earlier with the customer2 tag now shows up in that search. Now here's a neat way that you can even refine the search further. Once you have the advanced search available, simply go up to one of the other search criteria, let's say a product family. Maybe I just wanted to find network convergence systems. I can type that into the search and apply it. And you'll notice that the search results automatically update based on the criteria that we've provided. You do have the option to manage your tags. You'll notice the Manage Tags box. We select that. It'll bring up a separate dialog box that will allow us to either edit or delete the tags. So deleting a tag is just as simple as creating it. We can click on Delete, read the message to make sure that we fully understand it, and then confirm that yes, we do in fact want to delete that tag. You'll receive a dialog on the screen that says that the tag was deleted successfully. And after closing the window, the screen will now update and you'll notice that the tag that we deleted, customer1, is no longer there. The ability to tag offers you some power behind organizing your licenses. Again, it's totally open to 
how you structure your business. So you can name the tag anything you want. You can define it to any of the entitlements you need. You will be able to search and run reports and generally sort uh, based on those entitlements. So this is available today on Software Central. That's software.cisco.com, your primary location for managing your Cisco software and licenses. Check the Smart Software Licensing section.